So does the political sort of overwhelm the ecological in political ecology? So the first thing I'd say about that question is that we do an awful lot, we, let's not say we, some political ecologists, which includes me sometimes, do a lot of hand-wringing about this question. It's this, this feeling like we're doing something wrong. There's not enough ecology. And I think that's probably unnecessary hand-wringing because I, I think the ecology matters where it matters. And that should be, in a certain sense, an opportunity for empirical investigation and surprise. Sometimes objects matter. You know, sometimes the way, uh, the way crops grow, their seasonality, right, matters to uh, instabilities in production and therefore the mobilization of labor and then the transformation of the environment and putting in plantations or taking them out or deforesting or reforesting. So the nature might matter or, you know, it really might not. There are situations and questions for which the answer isn't always well, it's the, there's got to be something eco ecological. Because the most banal thing you can say, right, is that nature matters, because it always matters. The question is when, under what conditions, what, what parts of environmental systems are animated by certain kinds of relationships. So I'm not especially worried about it. But I, and the second reason I'm not worried about it is because I think many political ecologists are social scientists. And there are only certain ways that they have available to them to kind of understand how the material works without partnering with natural scientists, um, which I think they should do. So this is, the, so those, those are two reasons I'm not too worried about it. The reason I'm worried about it is because the environment does matter in all kinds of ways that are often missed, precisely because it's very hard to partner with scientists. And I think one of the major political projects of the next 50 years is engaging the natural scientists the natural and physical scientists, biological and physical scientists, in meaningful ways, ex allowing us, us social, the people in the social sciences, to expand their vocabulary and their explanatory power, but also engaging, engaging in, that engagement's gonna produce a new kind of conservation biology. It's gonna produce a new kind of restoration ecology. It's gonna produce a new kind of invasion biology. And that's great, that means, that means science is evolving in the Anthropocene through that engagement. And it's not an easy engagement, it's a pain in the ass, and we have to do it, and, but it's fun, and you learn a lot, and so nature matters. Is that okay?